I'm giving away $500 every single Vlogmas video. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, and follow me and 12330 on Instagram. Today's winner is Oceana. Congrats, queen. And 12330 hoodies are now $35. I dropped the price, so now is the time to pick one up for yourself. I put the link in the description. Enjoy. Hello, so I don't know about you, but it's overwhelming to shop for athleisure because so many brands make leggings and sports bras and jumpers and whatever. So today I'm going to to take one for the team with my bank account essentially and I'm gonna order the top rated items from like every pop-in athleisure website. I'm gonna order the top rated items from Aloe, from Lulu, Aritzia, Set Active, and I will try them on and compare them and see what the tea is and see if there's any that I like the most, feel all the different materials and kind of get a vibe for each one of these and see which one is the best of the best. May the odds be ever in your favorite brands. Before we get started, like and comment on this video since I am spending so much money on it. Like, give me a little empathy. Like, give me a little support. Like, show me a little tomorrow. And let's see what the tea is. I would like to say I am super qualified to make this video. <clears throat> I created a treadmill workout that is essentially a household name at this point. And I work out like five times a week. So if anybody can put leggings and sports bras to the test, tis me. We have Miss Lulu Lemon. These Items are not cheap, so let's see what the tea is. Best sellers. Okay, so these are their leggings. These are their best selling leggings, the Lululemon Align High Rise Pant. I could be making this up, but I have a memory of owning Lululemon leggings at some point and then making my butt look small. These are their best selling leggings? with that little like detailing in it. Maybe it's like super breathable. Not my style to be honest. I'm so sorry, but their website is giving me basic and boring. I don't know if it's the way that they like style their shoots or if it's leggings like this with these floral patterns, but nothing about it is like, ooh, I wanna buy it. Add to bag. This one's like painful. So this is their Align tank top. I've seen this all over. TikTok, it's pretty popular, and I, there is a dupe for it on Amazon, which I ordered. So this will be fun to compare. This Align tank top is $68. I will say this tank top looks great. Looking at it on the model, it looks like it's seamless. It looks super flattering. Do I get it in black so I can be a sleek queen? Let's get it in black. Okay, that's it. That's all we're gonna get from Miss Lulu. $200 later, and all I got was some leggings and a tank top. Okay, let's start with Miss Lululemon. So if you've watched my Amazon dupes video, I got this and I tried her on and the material is great, but long story short, it like covers so much of my butt that it doesn't feel, I don't feel like it was designed for me in mind. This is Lululemon's most popular legging that they've ever made. It has this print on it. I thought when I was online shopping for it that this was to make it breathable, like these were little holes, and I think that's what it is. See how it gets a little bit sheer when you stretch it out? I think it's so that this can be breathable. These are $120 leggings. I also got their Align Tank. This is a very popular tank top from Lulu. I must say, I love this top from them. It has a built-in sports bra in it, but it's not the type that you could see through the fabric. Let me put this on and we'll assess. But for 70 bucks, that's an expensive top. I'm very pleasantly surprised with these leggings. I feel like I've had other pairs of Lululemon leggings and I felt like they made my butt look flat and these are not doing that at all. Maybe it's because the material's so thin, it doesn't like, compress everything together like a Spanx. And it's really this top for me. It did come with padding, which I removed. But overall, in terms of feeling snatched in a tank top, this one's really giving me that. So I can definitely see how these are Lulu's top rated things. I'm gonna give both of these a 10, like literally. The wheels keep on fighting, rock the dance floor. Side note, thank God for online shopping. I went to the mall the other day, like the physical mall. It was not a great experience. I felt like I was in an amusement park. It was giving, welcome to the jungle. Maybe it's just this time of year. Okay, next we have Aritzia. You already know what I'm gonna order from Aritzia. We are seeing it everywhere. The jumpsuit thing, whatever it's called. Everyone is eating it up. I have fears that it's gonna give me a camel toe. I'm apprehensive to buy anything that's like a one piece because I feel like I just usually get 
a camel toe. And I don't think I have an abnormally like chunky vag. <laughs> I don't know if that's TMI, but I really don't. I just feel like sometimes with the way that clothes are made, sometimes the stitching there like isn't right. But this one really is super popular. So I'm curious to see how it fits. Oh, they don't have like a popular filter. Hello, I want what's popular. I want what's trendy. Here she is, the famous romper. I mean, it's cute. I don't see what all the hoopla's about, but I guess we gotta find out. Okay, I'm gonna get it in black. Everything I'm ordering is black. I don't know, it just speaks to me in the winter wearing black. Also, if you're buying expensive workout stuff, I feel like black is the most timeless. But sometimes when I wanna be a thought, 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 I like my workout clothes to be like almost sheer, like super light pastel-y colors that are like almost sheer or like almost skin tone where it kind of looks like you're naked from a distance. That's also hot. $78 for this romper, which I guess isn't too, too bad if you consider it because if I were to buy a sports bra and some shorts from another website, it would probably be more than $78. But like inflation is really inflationing. Like, wow, everything is so expensive these days. I feel like the one that's pants is a little bit more fun I feel like it's more sexy. I think you could still work out in this, but I like this because you could also like wear this on a flight. You know me with the all black airport outfits. If I like this, then this is gonna be great. Oh, this one is a hundred dollars. So it is 30 more dollars for them to extend the fabric from the short all the way to your ankle. It does hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm solid in my, it's sold out. Okay, she is popular because she is sold out. So let's get the let's get the short one. Ninety-three. Wait, why is my card ninety-three dollars? Shipping is ten dollars on Aritzia. That's bold. Ten dollars shipping is deep though. Do I need to put more stuff in my car? This is Gorgina. This is hot. It's one of their best sellers. It's a vegan down puffer vest. This is gorgeous for a workout or like running around this black. Oh my God. Okay, now that I'm spending a million dollars, does it at least bring down my shipping price? No, it does not. It is still $10 to ship this. They didn't even give me a break with the shipping. Okay, Ritz, yeah. I will say their packaging is the cutest out of all of these. Like everybody sent plastic and this is a beautiful paper, like Christmassy thing. It looks like a gift in and of itself. The famous. Aritzia onesie. Honestly, holding it up, I'm like, what is so special about this? I feel like I've seen this a million times, but maybe it's the fit. I also got this jacket. It was super high rated and I'm into stuff like this. I'm into thin little things. Wait, this is kind of Gorgina to be honest with you because it's not super loud. You know how this material can sometimes be extremely loud? Like you can hear you coming from a mile away. This one's got some audio to it. Like she's got some volume, but not not intense. I mean, this is $98, like that is deep. And it's called the Pillow Puff. That's a good name. It is what it's giving. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, it's nice. I think this is what sets it apart from all the other onesies like this. And I think this is why it got so much popularity. Cause the seam, put it right here, which is smart of them to do. Cause this is where we want the seam these days. Sometimes I get, a little tired of seeing like waist seams being put at the waist because it, it does make more sense here. Like it kind of snatches right here. I don't even know if you could see it on camera, but there's like a seam here and a seam here and the seam hits right. There's also a seam like through here, which is nice and the quality does feel nice. And it does feel like I can do a workout in this and everything not be bouncing and jumping all over the place, which is how the cheaper athletic wear can sometimes feel. This one feels like it's not gonna be like intense with everything jumping out at you in your face. So I could see why this is popular. I feel like I'm already obsessed with this and I haven't even put this on. This, I'm like, it's cute, but I'm not seeing what all the hoopla is about. If I'm being 100% honest, I think this is cuter in the lighter colors and maybe I just fucked up by getting the most basic color imaginable. But this, this is hot. Okay, yeah, this is a yes for me. The second it touched my body, I felt more fashionable. And it's such a functional piece too. It's just so sleek. Like, do you see this from the different angles? Like from the front, it's sleek. Sometimes what I hate about these puffer vests is that they'll do them in that puffery material. You know what I'm talking about? That's quilted. And sometimes I don't want my puffers to be quilted. I want them to be sleek, clean silhouettes like this. So I have to give this puffer a 10 out of 10. Like I'm obsessed. This feels amazing for running errands, for going to the grocery store, for going to the mall. I also love having dainty little things like this that actually keep you warm but are small. This is great. Slay 
Aritzia, you really did that sh Okay, so Free People makes this onesie and it's basically the Aritzia one and surprisingly, it's $80. I'm loving the back of it. The back of it has this like open back moment. And I went to a Free People location recently not knowing how expensive that store is. Jesus Christ. I fell in love with this cute little like cropped um, vest thing. And in my head, I thought it was gonna be 50 bucks and it was a hundred bucks, so I did not get it. And maybe it's cheaper and just as good of quality. This looks honestly super cute to me. Pre-order! So it's sold out. Why do you show me something if you don't have it? Like that's wrong. That should be like illegal. I just got so excited to rock this. Now pre-order, I don't wanna pre-order shit. Maybe in, oh, I could get it in this color though. So this Free People Good Karma onesie is definitely one of the best, one of the most popular athleisure pieces of this year. And I have been wearing it for a couple days. I got it for another video. And what I will say is I feel so confident. Let me just put it on and stop talking. Again, I could see why this specifically was so popular this year. The front is definitely more subdued and there's not a lot going on. And the back really is the star of the show in this one. And I really think it's super cute. I did a workout, like a full length workout in this. And it survived the workout, <laughs> no issues. Sometimes with onesies, I'm on a very thin slab about the Camille Trois situation, but this one, like the material was good. The waistband is in like a weird spot here. See what I mean? Like the aloe waistband thing, the seam was here, this one it's here, but I feel like this one has to be here in order for the back to snatch here. You know what I mean? It is a onesie, so it is a little bit annoying to put it on, but to pee, for example, it's not that annoying since the back is so open. It's a pretty quick on and off situation. It's the legs that take a bit. And I do really appreciate how the fabric is like thicker. Cause for a onesie like this, like you do want it to be a drop thicker. And I really do like this material. Okay, next up we have set active, 50% off your first order, you bet your Ass. So now I'm signing up for subscription to get 15%. They really make you work for it. So it's 15% off your first order and we will harass your email inbox and your text. I'm not too familiar with Set Active, to be honest. I know that I have a couple things from them, but I'm not sure like what I have. They do have a filter where it only shows your size. That's really nice. Every website should have that. Like if you don't have it in my size, I don't want to see it. I don't wanna see you disappoint me in real time. Okay, this looks really cute. It's a one piece, they have it in black. And it says, run small, we recommend sizing up. Okay, Bev, this is $78. And it looks like it could be flattering. And what I like about it is that I'm not seeing a logo. Okay, I do see it on the back thigh, but like that's a cute dainty placement of a logo. Here's my thing with brands. I don't wanna see a huge logo on Athleisure. And this one's cute. It's like a very tasteful, placement of their branding and I like it. I'm gonna get it in small. It is $78, which is D. Should I get something in different color? Are we tired of the black? I'm in my Wednesday Adams era. Don't know what to tell you. I did get a free shipping code for signing up. I've put a bodysuit in my cart and they've managed to send me four texts already. I feel like Set Active really had their moment this year. Like I've been seeing them on the rise for I guess like two years now, but I feel like this year really solidified them as a brand, if that makes sense. Like I hear a lot more people talking about Set Active. I like their packaging. They have fun, cute little pictures on it. Like they're giving me something. Some of these other packagings were so boring. Like I'd rather get this, you know, it's like a little fun. I feel like everybody made a version of this this year. Set Active has this one, which is copying like the OG Aritzia one. I mean, who knows if Aritzia was actually first, but you know what I mean. Like it's giving potato, potato, tomato, tomato. These straps are dainty and these are a little thicker. So I'm actually curious which ones I'm gonna prefer. And it looks like that seam was placed in the same spot, but this one doesn't have the seam going down the middle like the Aritzia one does. Let's just try her on. This did come without a tag. So I'm like, did somebody return this? And then it ended up at my house? Like, that's kind of fun. But I'm not seeing any deodorant stains. Maybe they just forgot to put a tag on it. They're a newer brand, so I guess it just comes with the territory. Okay. Let's see what she's all about. Right off the bat, 
I can tell you that I prefer the fit, the Aritzia one over this one. I'm gonna try to put it into words, but I feel like it's not gonna be the easiest thing to follow. For whatever reason, I feel like, I don't know, they're grabbing me too much right here. I don't know, it's like a feeling more than it is a physical, I don't know. Something about it, like it's cute. Maybe there's a lot of fabric on the torso, I don't know. It's cute and I like it, and this one is cheaper than the Aritzia one. They're both $78. Just kidding, so this one and the Aritzia one are both $78, so same exact price. But preference-wise, I'm gonna give it to Aritzia. I do like the little spaghetti straps more. I like that the back of the Aritzia one comes down a little bit more. This one's giving me the same silhouette as like that Fendi Skims bodysuit, and I don't think I'm into that. It's giving me a little bit chuggy. Now I know I'm being like super dramatic because they do look pretty similar, but if they're both the same exact price, I'm picking Aritzia. I used to be so much more of a Gymshark girl and recently I haven't been wearing them that much. So I'm excited to experience what they got. Am I the only one that feels this? I don't love the logo being so like visible. Like it's giving shark, it's giving tiburon. Okay, so these are the Gymshark yoga pants. They look great, but they don't have them in an extra small. They have them in a small. I'm sure they would be fine, but I like a snug moment to really like squeeze my butt and make it look even bigger than it is. These are $68, which is giving, I guess it's like the price across the board for yoga pants. That's what I'm getting from this. Gymshark's heyday was really like a couple years ago. I really remember the Gymshark era when they were like, you know, out here on Instagram and it was like the brand. I will say personally, like I remember having pretty good experiences with Gymshark. It's always the logo for me, very like Gymshark. I don't know, it doesn't look like dainty and pretty and delicate to me. But when I'm like trying to be like dainty and like hot at the gym, I don't know if like the big shark is like my vibe, but that really is me nitpicking. As far as their clothes, I haven't tried on something from them in a bit. I'm not used to seeing something like this. Do you see how the but like there's a lot of like extra fabric on it. Like it almost looks like air shoot pants a little bit or like drop crotch. All the other leggings so far have been really just like snatchy. And this is like, why is the butt so low on these? Oh, it's because these are yoga pants. Got it. And look, as much as I was talking about their logo, they did hit this one with the black on black, which I think looks really sleek. So maybe that's why this is their most popular item. Okay, I mean, what do you think? Is that a camel toe? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. Oh my god, it's giving knuckles. I don't hate it. I think the, like, I don't know, maybe it's the resurgence of the early 2000s coming back that like lower waist things are in, but something about this waist being so incredibly high, like it literally goes to my rib cage. It's giving me like chuggy. I don't know, it's giving me like two years ago BBL trend. Like why is the waist all the way up to my ribs? You know what I mean? Because if I wear a crop top with this, it's literally up to my boots. Like the butt's not even like that, like flattering. I'm not, I don't like them. Let's just cut to the chase. Aloe yoga. So these are their most popular legging. They're $128 for some black leggings. These better make my butt look so juicy. I mean, maybe the material is awesome. Here's my thing with leggings though. I just wanted to make my ass look fat. So that's the only thing that I personally judge leggings off of like how fat my ass looks and how comfy they are. And these are literally the most popular thing on their entire website. So let's see what the hype is about. I feel like I should try their leggings too. Ugh, I'm gonna spend like a disgusting amount of money on this video, I already know it. So I'm buying the two most popular pants, their leggings, which is their top seller, and their yoga pants, which also apparently sell really well for them too. The yoga pants are $108 and the leggings are 128 that steep, but okay. Anything for the video. Aloe really had her moment this year. Aloe popped off in 2022. So let's see the highest rated Aloe items of this year. And let's see why the girlies really are bending over backwards for some Aloe. Again, I like how simple their logo placement is. Like it's really tiny and it's in that like little reflective material but it's not in your face. I like Alphalete leggings, for example, but I hate that on the back of all their leggings, they put a huge Alphalete. Like it's like intense, you know? Like I get that as a brand, you wanna market yourself and get more exposure and like what a better way than to get people to look than by placing it on top of my ass and our asses, but it's like not cute when we go out and wear it in the real world, you know what I mean? This is the most expensive Legging I will be trying on today. Aloe is not cheap. She is a bougie queen 
for sure. Off the bat, this material feels so much nicer than the Gymshark yoga pant. The Gymshark yoga pant has that little like shine to it that gives like bathing suit energy and like really, really workout outfit energy. You know what I mean? And this one is giving me like a really nice cotton. It looks thick. It looks more of like an outfit. This looks like it could be an IMG a pant. And this is giving Nike. Like there is a difference. Yeah, but that's almost double the price of Gymshark. This is double the Gymshark price. Almost. So these really are expensive. I mean, aloe is expensive. Is aloe more expensive than Lulu? Aloe is the most expensive. Aloe is very much like Beverly Hills yoga mom. Yeah, when I think aloe, I think like Aspen, like what you're wearing around Aspen after a day on the slips. Aritzia S5 is like Abercrombie for grown 28 year old like millennials. Or 28 year old millennials. Yeah. Pretty, kind of. I'm sorry. Kind of... What do you think? I don't know what I think. There's a little sheer to it. They're sheer? Like not no, really. A sheen. Sheen. A sheen? Sheen. A sheen. Sheen. Yes. They do give that like bougie like look. That's I guess the best way to say. Or is it because you know it's aloe and No, I I see like the bougie vibe that they have going on. Like I see it, I feel it. Like it's cute. It's nice. Would you buy it for $128? Didn't I already? Would you keep it for $128? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. But actually like when I look at myself in this mirror, like they do they like they fit this the shape nicely. I don't know how to describe it. But it's got that big waistband on the waist that you hate. But it's like different because it's thin. Like the Gymshark one literally went up to here and was like this wide, and this one like just sits down here and it's not supposed to be a yoga pant. Like if they're pretty, I just think they're super expensive. They don't make my butt feel huge. And I guess that's like one of my top priorities when picking a leg. Like I want it to feel like you know like I'm going to the gym and is doing something. When I look at the side profile, I'm not like. Okay, these are really nice. I gotta say the yoga pants feel amazing. The last like most memorable yoga pant I can compare it to is like the OG VS pink ones we all used to wear unfortunately. And these are definitely a way more modernized fit. And this actually like fits amazing, feels amazing. And it feels like a slightly more athletic IMG pant. Like the material feels really similar to me. Another thing with the aloe is I feel like they market themselves towards more modely types. So like tall queens, which like I'm not a tall queen. Maybe they did offer this yoga pant in a shorter size. And they're not like incredibly long on me, but they do feel like they were designed for somebody taller. But I am like short, so it's not their problem. It's more of a personal issue. No, but I feel you like aloe to me feels very much for the like rich yoga mom that doesn't have a big butt. I picture a five seven to five nine skinny blonde yoga mom that's like a hot young mom that's 35 mm -hmm. running around Beverly Hills with her Range Rover keys. Yeah, dad drives a Cayenne. It's like that like skinny body type is what I picture. Yeah. Like that yeah. slender like. The almond mom. What's the, the almond mom? Oh, my mom, that's so fun. Next is Alphalete and their top rated item. And basically what they're most famous for is their legging with the scrunch up the butt, which I already own multiple pairs. And luckily for my bank account, I don't have to go out of pocket on this one. I can just try on the ones I have in my closet. But wow, this color, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Like sometimes I like the all black, but sometimes I like a nice thoughty color that looks just like my skin and it really just shows off the bod and like these are so that but I'm not gonna get them because I already have them in my closet in a different color and I can show you what they're like they're $72 and I gotta say I love these leggings they're the ones that I would say I reach for the most because I guess I don't know for my body type for like my style of what I look for in a legging it like works for me I feel like because I'm sure and because I have my little curves going on or whatever, like I just like how these fit me. And what I do love about these too is they're not sheer. I worked out in them a bunch of times and even when you do the squats, they're not see-through. Like you can't see through them. Honestly, it really is these for me. I really love these. I feel like they fit me so well. They're super comfortable. Again, my biggest thing that I just, that just annoys me about these leggings is the huge branding in the back. And like the T is... I feel like alphalites are very, if you know, you know, like obviously everybody likes these leggings because they have the perfect stitch in the middle of the butt that makes your butt look good. But what I hate is since they put like alphalite on it so huge, it makes it very like obvious what your intentions are when you're putting on those leggings because they have that connotation. You know what I mean by that? 
Overall, I think it was actually a pretty good year for Athleisure 2022. Those were some solid pieces. Let me know what your favorite piece was. I think, honestly, I'm gonna have to give my favorite to the Alphaly Amplify Legging. I just feel like it's such a good legging. My second favorite, I'm gonna give to that Aritzia Black Puffer. Like, that just hit. Me. So let me know what your favorites were. Let me know if you have any of these. Let me know if you know any really good dupes for these. That could be a whole nother video. And yeah, comment your favorite workout piece of 2022. I'm so curious. And let me know if this should be a series because that was way too fun to do. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Don't be fake. Bye, see you tomorrow. I think everything's too goddamn expensive. That's just the world we live in now. Everything is so fucking expensive. It's crazy.